Hello? It's me. It's your, it's your old pal, Uncle John John. I'm here to read to you another spooky bedtime story. But not too spooky, don't worry. And I've been reading from this book. I've been reading from this book called Aunt Friendly's Nursery Picture Book about, about the fraud and the goose on the cover of this book. Ooh. And, and some of the fun adventures happening, but also Halloween adventures, but not too Halloween. So you don't, you can go to sleep, but you won't have nightmares. I hope you, I hope you don't have nightmares. Yeah. And then I told you a story about about a, 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 a trick or treating, and how these kids found this oh creepy uh, old house. Except it wasn't a creepy old house; it's just decoration. And inside was a family, and they ate a weird dessert. It was dry cheesecake, and this really nice lady who's really pretty, but she's a mean lady too, because she served this dry cheesecake without hot cocoa. Cheesecake without hot cocoa. What? Oh no, that was very spooky. You know what else is spooky? My hair. My hair right now. If you're looking at this picture of me, I have a hair like a water buffalo. Look, my hair is a water buffalo. Anyway, you didn't, you didn't. Uh, uh, watch this, this, uh, for me to, to tell you a bedtime story and talk about my bad hair day. Oh my gosh. So, what I'm going to do instead is I'm not going to talk about the, the really pretty lady in this, in this picture here. Um, but I, instead, I'm going to tell you now, because it's Halloween, I'm going to tell you the story of Halloween. How ha Halloween got started, I think. And I only know how Halloween got started from this picture here, which if you look, this is, this is a, a photograph from the very first Halloween, I, I think, maybe. So, so what's happening is, um, these these adults uh, uh, met met in a in a bar. But it's a, but it's a uh, I'm not, maybe not a bar. I think it's a bar because there's a lot of adults. But actually, maybe it's someone's house because there's a big fireplace and there's a few chairs. But there's only like one table. There's only one table. But everybody's standing. There's a lot of adults. But I do see some kids. No, there's no kids. There's no kids here. Oh yeah, I think there's oh, like there's like one little kid. There's one little kid, and they're kind of playing, playing a game like there's a big basket full of like balls or something inside. Anyway, they're all inside, and by the light of the fireplace and the light of the fire, fires and the candles in this room, um, I think people are st are starting to tell uh, Halloween stories. Halloween stores, spooky stores, kind of like what I'm telling you now, kind of what I'm telling you now, except it'd be really hard to fall asleep in a room like this because lots of people standing around and moving around and talking and talking and talking, I think that'd be, that'd be really hard to fall asleep. My, like my, like my, uh, my eyes wouldn't want to close just yet and I wouldn't feel like I was ready to, to, um, I uh, want to have go have a dream or something like that because there's too many people around. No. But I think maybe what happened next is is um, they needed a time. When can they have a time to, to uh, have Halloween? Well, they they decided the fall because it's when all the farmers will will chop their grass and then make make get all their old dry sticks and make uh, pyramids or piles of sticks 
or something all over their fields. And back then they had like like corn or wheat or rice or or kale. Like it's not like big tall uh, bushes of kale. Actually, I don't know if kale is in bushes. I, I, or trees? I don't know. Anyway, but the point is, um, in the old, old days, they'd take all the dry, dead stuff and just tie them together into, into clumps and bunches and piles and stuff and just leave it to dry out in their fields. I'm not really sure why they did that, but it but it looks kind of spooky. Kind of spooky. I think so. And another thing that people started to do is, um, oh, okay. Um, is they started to, oh, this is, there's a, okay. So this is in somebody's, uh, it's a very rich person's house. Okay. And they're, and they're all gathering on Halloween night. And they're all dressed up as, as ghosts. I really hope that they're dressed up as ghosts. I really hope those are ghost costumes that are made out of bed sheets. It, it's kind of important to me right now that that's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, anyway, so in the middle of this circle of ghosts, they're not really ghosts, they're people dress up as ghosts on Halloween night, and there's this woman, and then there's, uh, there's other women's in a costume, and another woman's in a costume, like, like an exotic costume, and one woman is dressed up like a witch, and they're all kneeling on the ground, and the one woman is reading the palm. Reading the palm of another of the of the woman who's dressed up like a witch, and the other woman, I think she's kind of telling the fortune of the other person. Maybe it's her friend, and she's telling, telling that uh, her friend, telling the other person about what is her future. Ooh, what's her future going to be? What what is her future? from the lines on our palm. And this is starting to make me feel really, really spooky. Um, so in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna turn off, I'm gonna turn off one of the lights. Check this out. That's even, that's even spooky, spookier. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna make this uh, red. Oh, I've got this red light now. Oh, no, now it's green. Now it's green. Oh, no, wait, does it work? Can I make it red? Is it red now? Oh, now it's red. Ooh, I got a red not light right under my chin, so it looks all, all Halloween y. I've got Halloween lights behind me. And uh, it's, but they're friendly. They're friendly Halloween lights. So. So what's what happened next in the beginning of Halloween? Well, what well, the next part, the next part is is the children got involved. And in the old days, in the old days, there was a there was a witch. But she was a cool witch. She was an old witch. And she and she would uh, sit outside her little hut or her cabin or something and wait for the children to come. Wait for the children to come and, 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 and go to her and she would tell them spooky stories about, oh, about, about ghosts and the full moon and uh, pumpkins and the jack-o'-lanterns. Because that's what jack-o'-lanterns are. Jack-o'-lanterns are made out of pumpkins. They're made out of pumpkins. Ooh, past spooky jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but she seems like a nice old lady. She seems like a nice woman. She's telling stories. Um, I don't know. I don't know why, but she's decided that she's only going to tell a spooky story to one child at a time. So she's going to tell a story to one child. The child's looking like, looking like they're falling asleep, slowly falling asleep, starting to fall asleep, and they're, they're about to go to sleep. And then, when that child falls asleep, then the next child can come up 
while they're waiting in line could come up and sit down and wait for the witch to tell her story to them it kind of seems like it's a long process you know it's kind of a little bit like podcasting in a way yeah and now i wouldn't know anything about that no anyway so but the, but you know it's 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 a version 1.0 of halloween right it's the first generation of, of of the system of halloween so so like they didn't really quite know what they were doing just that they were figuring things out you know and so and so um some of the kids there remember the stories about the jack-o-lanterns which are pumpkins which you make a fake cut a face in them and you put a candle inside and in the early days you know uh the kids would know the story so they would go go home to their parents and say okay um this year this year what we want to do is we want to make jack-o-lanterns and the parents were like oh okay that's kind of weird but okay here's a pumpkin <laughs> have fun and in the early days they didn't really know how to make a face so the, the so the first jack-o-lantern faces weren't very good they weren't very good i guess and they didn't really know they didn't really know where to put the jack-o-lantern so sometimes they'd put a jack-o-lantern on the top of their house and sometimes they would go like out to like their like garden shed if they had a garden maybe there's a garden shed and they'll put a jack-o-lantern on the top of their garden shed which makes sense because then you could see the jack-o-lantern from far far away actually that's actually pretty clever i didn't think about that i just thought realize that now but um in the old days they didn't have color everything was in black and white and so the first jack-o-lanterns weren't orange with a with a weird light from inside they were black and white and so at nighttime when nighttime came you couldn't see them anymore there was no light at night in the old days that's why people went to bed really early now speaking of going to bed really early are you in bed really early are, are you did you finish your homework oh i hope you finished your homework and then that means that means you don't have to worry about anything to, to do tonight so you could just listen to my story and then you could you know, start to like you could close your eyes right how about that how about that you close your eyes and listen let me tell you about how halloween started and then maybe your your breathing will start to get a little heavy you breathe in and breathe out and you keep your eyes closed keep your eyes closed you're gonna breathe in and then you'll breathe out and then and then you'll think about that that um uh, uh, a really pretty pretty lady who who uh, served the cheesecake to her family and to two little boys who went trick-or-treating boy i could really go for some pie right now i could really go to go for some for some pie or some cheesecake and I could really use some really hot cocoa. I'm really go for some hot cocoa right now. But oh well. Anyway, um, so that is the very uh, early, early days. The very, very beginnings of um, of uh, of Halloween. And another thing that happened around the same time is is uh you know ghost stories ghost stories and campfire stories they've been around for a really 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 long time but you know what hasn't been around for a long time is books books are kind of new and and in the 20th century which is like 500 years ago um there were there were books that were only about ghost stories and so i'm gonna share i'm gonna share some of the 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 stories some of these books were about so here here in this uh in this old 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 book called ghost stories uh, which looks like it came it came out every month looks like it came out every month uh so it says november and and you know this book is called uncanny spooky creepy tales november ghost stories so november ghost stories so so maybe it's only ghost stories that you can hear in november so if it's if it's december you can't hear these ghost stories that no no that these are november ghost stories come on 
You have to wait until November, I guess. I guess. I don't know. But one thing I do notice is that is that these books were really cheap. This was only 25, 25 cents. That's probably really cool. And, and in this picture, it shows a ghost, but the ghost is wearing a shawl. A shawl over his head or her head. Maybe it's her head. It's hard to tell. Um, and, and she's got spooky ghost eyes. Um, but what's sort of interesting is that the spooky ghost looks a little bit like Alex Ward. Um, Alex Ward, you know, he'd be he'd be very familiar with this topic because he is an actor and and he only acts in spooky stories. That's what he does. He acts, but he does a lot of 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 characters that are like spooky characters, like ghosts and monsters and stuff. So he wears lots of makeup to to show the monster or the ghost or something. And it's actually a really, really, uh, a really amazing, very smart, and creative actor. And what's funny is uh, if we go back, let me let's go back to the cover of this book. Is this looks a lot like like uh, Alex Ward, who who does a a Twitch show uh, and a YouTube show show called LA by Night, which oh, LA by Night, you know what? That's it's a it's really spooky, but it's not for kids. So if you're a kid, you can't you can't watch LA by Night. If you're a teenager, yeah, it's okay. If you're a parent, maybe your mom or your dad might like this show. It's really, really great. And what it is, LA by Night, is it's it's basically D&D, only with vampires and ghosts and monsters and Frankensteins and uh and uh people who don't pay their parking tickets. Stuff oh yeah, no, right? Um but it's really, really cool, but not for kids. I kind of want to look at this picture of Alex Ward again. He's a good looking guy. I mean, when he's when he's not trying to act like a monster or a spooky ghost or a vampire or, or something like that. When it's just, when it's just him, you know, he's, a, he's a good looking guy. I can see why he gets lots of, uh, lots of work in Hollywood. I can see that. Uh, another ghost story, another ghost story is, um, Oh, this one is called, this one is from October. Perfect. Uh, uh, uh for Halloween. Ooh, perfect for Halloween. Um, this one's called The Portrait That Walked. I don't know. The Portrait That Walked, October Ghost Stories. I don't really know what that, what that means. But what's interesting here is that, is I learned that ghosts don't have to look like people. No. They they can look like a scarf or a shawl. So according to this book, it, there's a story in here where the ghost is a shawl. It's a ghost shawl. Oh my gosh. I've never heard of a ghost shawl. I wonder if they're warm. Another ghost story. Ooh, this one is called Uncanny Spooky Creepy Tales January Ghost Stories. Ooh, in this one, there is a ghost that wants to join a family for dinner. Just like, just like the kids when they went trick or treating. Remember in the last story, the kids went trick or treating, and. They wanted to, the nice, really nice, pretty lady that looks a lot like Elizabeth Montgomery in Bewitched uh, was serving uh, cake, cheesecake. Um, well, there is, a, apparently in this story, uh, there is a ghost who wants to join this family. And there's the woman, the woman in the story says, oh, are, are we allowed to let, let this ghost join us for pie? And the man in the picture is like, you know, just don't pay attention to him. I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Uh, he'll, he'll just go away. But the, but the woman's like, oh, come on. It'll be, it'll be great. And 
this story. Uncanny, spooky, creepy tales. December, another December. Ghost, oh, maybe they have like lots of December books. Maybe December ghost stories are really popular. In this story is another one of the, oh, no, this is not a ghost. Actually, this is not a ghost in this picture. In this story, the story, it's remember, remember I showed you the story of the, of the, uh, in the, inside the house. Inside the house, there's the group of people, and a lot of them, their costumes were ghosts, and then the one costume was a lady was a witch, and then the other uh, lady was a costume of like some exotic person, and the exotic person was reading the palm of her friend and telling her future. Well, remember the ghosts? Like they were wearing like, you know, basically bed, bed sheets and, and, and towels and stuff. Well, this ghost looks a lot like that costume. So I think really this, this is a, is a costume story. It's cosplay, ghost cosplay. It's, wait, isn't that what a ghost costume is? Isn't that what Halloween is? Basically, I don't know. So I hope you're, I hope this costume ideas are, I hope you like this idea of a costume, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I really don't think you should go as a ghost this year for Halloween because the uh, wearing a white bed sheet over your body is it, kind of not a really good idea right now. I really don't recommend it. But what I do recommend is if you're getting sleepy and you want to sleep now, well, I hope you do. I hope you are getting really sleepy. I hope you're already asleep. I hope you're already dreaming. Here's one more ghost story. And in this ghost story, this is a, uh, it's called Uncanny Spooky Creepy Tales, October, again October, ghost stories. And this one is a story about a ghost twin. What? Wow, man. Okay, so in this story, one guy and his girl, they're going out on a date. But what we don't know, what we know now, is the guy has a twin brother, but not really a twin brother, it's a twin brother ghost. Now, what I don't know if the ghost is his twin brother, or his twin brother had to go away and go to sleep for a long, long time and then came back as a ghost. I don't know if it's that. Actually, I kind of think that it's just, just this ghost that decided it was his twin because they look exactly the same. But you know, you know how some brothers, you know how brothers, especially twin brothers, maybe they don't get along. Sometimes they, they have kind of like a sibling rivalry. You know what that is? Sibling rivalry? Oh, it's a little bit like Michigan and Ohio State. That's what it is. And so, um, what's happening here is is this guy wants to take take his girlfriend out on a date. But the twin is like, oh, I, I want to go with you too. Oh, are we going to go see a movie? Oh, let's go see a drive-in because right now everybody's going to the drive-ins and that's that's a really kind of romantic idea hey let's go and the brother's like no dude this is like a date <laughs> okay i'm gonna take my girl out and you know we're gonna see a movie but maybe you know maybe we'll uh we'll uh share some kisses you know the little chocolates that come in a little silver foil We'll share those chocolates to it. Now, we're not going to share any of those kisses with you. No way. No, uh, no, come on. It's so, st stay home. And the brother's like, what? Like, no, I'm going to go with you. And so anyway, that's kind of a big, that's a big desire. So this date basically is a ghost story because that's what happens to their, to their relationship is the girl says, ah, you know, I like your twin brother who's the ghost. And so she ghosts, the, she ghosts the one brother who's real. And, and hangs out with the other ghost. That actually, that's kind of dumb. I don't like my story. I, I want to hear someone else's story. So with that, I am going to end this story. And I, I hope you'll learn a lot about how Halloween started. I sure did. I also forgot it completely. And then I told you about how there was some common stories that we told. Sometimes they were in books. 
and I, and I described some of the book covers to you, and I was guessing what kind of stories are, are told in these books based on these book covers. And so I think I'm 100% right, because I, I guess I'm, I, can tell a, I can tell a really true story just by looking at the pictures. I'm so good at that. I'm amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm the best. Anyway, I'm going to look at another picture of, of, um, of Alex Ward again because Alex Ward is a cool dude. And then I'm also going to look at a uh, uh, look at the picture of, of the nice lady who served the um, cheesecake and the pie. And then maybe after she did, she did serve hot cocoa, but the boys had to go home first and then the rest of the family got hot, hot cocoa. Anyway, I hope that you don't know about that. I hope that by now you actually are in bed and I hope that you're asleep and I hope you didn't hear any of this and I hope that your mom and your dad are asleep I hope they're asleep too good night